Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev Tech here bringing you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over um, how do you change a password on, on a computer if you forgot the password using Hiram Boot CD. This is only for Windows 10. Um, it, it might work on 7 and, and 8 and probably XP. I haven't tried it, but you want to, you know, give it a go. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, do IT videos and stuff. So for real, you're about how to get into IT. So as always, rate, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you know when I go live. Greatly appreciate it, okay? So today I want to go over um, how do you change a password on Windows 10 if you forgot your password. Obviously, it's not going to work for, for everyone because um, you might have a laptop that has flash drives blocked because you're trying to create a bootable flash drive and, and you're using Hiram Boot CD and it's probably being blocked. Obviously, if you have a BIOS password, it might not let you do anything. So there are limitations to this, but if you're, this is for local accounts only, not admin accounts. So if you do help desk, this is more primarily for someone that works help desk and they're trying to help a user that has a personal computer and they forgot their password and they cannot get into that computer because a regular user will not have a BIOS password on their computer unless you're like a, like an IT professional or someone that does some sort of IT or does some sort of, um, has a good understanding of IT or has some sort of security issue they might put a password in the BIOS, but if someone that, that does not tech savvy and they forgot their password for some whatever reason, you could go ahead and change it for them. And I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. All right. So let me share my screen with you and show you what I'm talking about. So I'm on, I'm on uh, my Windows 10. It's called Windows 10 hack because we're gonna hack this basically. Before we do that, I wanna go over what I'm talking about. So basically SAM is a database file. It's stored on XP, Vista 7 and 8 and 10. This basically stores your local passwords on your local user account. So for, to make it more sense, you go into the local C drive, you go into Windows, uh, you go into system 32, right? Show you right over here. Uh, and you go into C and config or C O N F I G. So Sam is right here. This basically stores all the local user accounts on a computer. That's the, that's the purpose of it. Uh, you might want to look for, you want to like maybe do your homework in some shape or form, maybe go online and figure out what this is and how this works. But basically, I mean, it, it allows you to change the password of these computers that have a local account on an authenticated local and remote users. So just, this is something that you could do with Sam. So why am I going over Sam? It's because I'm gonna manipulate Sam using Hiram Boot CD and I'm actually gonna log in and change the password for someone that's already has an account there. So you could do this for someone that forgot their password. If they forgot their password, you could use Hiram Boot CD and log in. So let me close out of this and open up Hiram Boot CD. So Hiram Boot CD is right here. It has a, a bunch of tools you could do, you could use. Um, it's absolutely free. Um, I don't recommend doing this for an unethical stuff. I mean, if you want to, that's, you know, I don't condone that, but I'm just doing this for educational purposes. So if you go into USB booting, you can create your own bootable flash drive. Obviously you, you need to have some sort of bootable flash drive application uh, like Rufus or something like that. You need something, right? So then what you, what you do is you create the image and then you can boot into a flash drive and then you're good to go after that and you're able to change the password for someone. For the sake of this video, I'm going to change the password on this on this uh, account. So right now I'm logged in as the administrator. How do you know that? You go into the bottom right-hand side, you hit test manager, you hit more details, you hit users. It tells you right there, I'm logged in as the administrator. So say, for example, I'm the user, I forgot my password. So I'm going to change the password on this. I'm going to do, uh, let's do control delete. Let's do change password. And this is the password for this is welcome one, I believe. And I'm going to change it to something crazy. Like I like to, I mean, I'm going to change it to, I got hacked. I got hacked. I got hacked. See what lets me change it. Password has been changed. So then what we do is we are going to control delete, lock this computer. Just make sure that that password I got I got hacked, right? So you, we know that's the password now, right? Obviously, like if you don't know the password, you need to change the password. So you would you, you have to restart the computer or you have to put a bootable flash drive or something. So in order for me to boot into this, obviously, I need to shut down the computer and then turn it back on and boot with a CD or a flash drive. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna shut it down. I'm gonna right click on the bottom icon right here. This is a little CD icon, right? Let it come back up. And actually I shut it down by accident. 
So I shut it down by, sorry about that. So let it come back up. You right click on it and you hit Hiram Boot CD. And then when you go in here, you hit the you hit the uh, space bar or any button you want, right? So now I'm going into Hiram Boot CD. We know what the password is. Uh, and I'm not gonna, I don't, I don't, want, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna use that password because cause, you know, obviously I wanna change the password. So how do you do that here? I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So you go into Hiram Boot CD, which is, the, this is the Hiram Boot CD, all right? Uh, you just close out of this. You go into your, your local C drive right over here or your local C, you know, C Explorer. And you see there's, there's, a, there's a bunch of drives here. There's one for the local disk, which is the computer. Then there's local disk E, then there's system reserve C. So what you want to do is you go into, you go into, uh, you have utilities right over here. You go into utilities, this is a desktop. So utilities is right here in the desktop. You go into security, you go into passwords and you go into password edit and you go into browse right over here. So basically we're trying to hack Sam. So this is actually, remember I told you we're hacking Sam. So Sam, let me go, let me go back into this. Sam stores a user passwords and account. So I'm going into Sam. I'm opening in it and it has the administrator right there. It has Kevin too. I have two accounts there. I have Kevin and administrator. So I'm going to change this one. I'm going to put, uh, um, I'm going to put no password as the password. No password. So I hit OK. I hit exit. I'm going to hit changes. Yes, yes, yes. And then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna do a restart. I'm gonna right click on the CD. I'm gonna uninject it. So the password now is no password, right? And let's see if it lets me in. Should let me in. I just changed it to no password as a, you know, as a, as a joke, right? So no password. See if it lets me in. Supposed to. I just changed it with with uh, the Hiram Boot CD. So let's see if it lets me in. Let's see, should let me. There we go. And let me in. So then that's it. That's pretty much it. Let me stop sharing. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. That's how you change a password using the Hiram Boot CD. Obviously, this will not work for everyone because you know you you create a bootable flash drive. What if the person has flash drives blocked in the BIOS? You don't know. Um, obviously, if if it's a domain account, you probably can't do this. It's more for local accounts. So like if someone is a is an administrator or an admin and you forgot your own password, you're a help desk person, right? Ah, oh, shit, I forgot my password. How the hell do I log in again? You know, you could go into Hiram Boot CD. You could boot into the into the the, the, the flash drive of the Hiram Boot CD application and you could actually manipulate Sam and change the password. So this is more for someone that is working help desk or IT support or someone that does IT that's trying to help a user that they forgot their password and they're not tech savvy and their BIOS is not, doesn't have any strange things on it. Does that make sense? Obviously, if you're using a laptop, you have to go in and press F12 or go to your BIOS manufacturer, figure out how to boot into the flash drive. And then you go in there, you log in as, as um, the Hiram Boot CD, you log in with that and you change the password. So that, this is how you basically change the password. And with that, and that's it. With that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. This video is more for educational purposes and to help people. And also, this video is more because I've been asked about this several times. So I'm going to make a video. I'm being asked about something several times. So this is to help someone. They asked me, then I got asked the same question over and over again. So hopefully this helps you out in some shape or form. Okay. I hope you guys have a great day and I hope you guys have a great Saturday. Take care. Peace.